Hey, hey, beady friends. It is me again, long time no see. Um, today, right now, we are finishing up this set that I've called, I believe, Sun Goddess. Here's the necklace. We are finishing up this set. We are doing the bracelet and the earrings. So, let's do the bracelet first, shall we? Okay, so for this bracelet, you are going to need all four of these hammered links from your Bargain Bee box. Again, guys, this is for the Bargain Bee box. Um, you are also going to need five eye pins. Um, I've already done some of these uh, ahead of time, but we will do a couple together. So you're going to need five of those. You're going to need one toggle set. And I've put jump rings already on both ends of my toggle. So you're going to put six millimeter jump rings or five millimeter, whatever you have. Probably five would work better um, on your toggles. You are going to need one more of your gold suns. If you guys have these suns, if you're using a different um, charm, you're going to need one of those. And again, there's a jump ring already attached to that. Um, you are going to need three of the uh, eight millimeter jaspers. You are going to need four of these glass rounds. You are going to need how many bicones? 16. You're going to need 16 bicones. You are going to need. 16 head pins because each one of those uh, bicones is going to go onto a head pin. You can use ball head pins, you can use uh, regular flat head pins, whatever you guys have. You can make your own head pins, um, but for this, we are using those. Um, we are also bringing in some of those seed beads. Um, this it's just a, a basically a piece of bead stringing wire um, that I've crimped with a bunch of seed beads. I will show you guys where we insert this. I didn't make this on film because you guys saw how long it took me <laughs> to, you know, put on just a couple. This is a whole bunch, so this took forever. Uh, so you guys can do that or not do that. But I did think of a really cool thing that we could do uh, that I will show you in a second. Um, so you're also going to need two, uh, five millimeter jump rings, which we are putting one, two, three, and then we're going to use two more to connect all of our strands together. Um, and you are going to need 10, six millimeter jump rings. And those are the jump rings that are going to go in between each of our links. So we're putting jump rings in between the links. Those are going to be your six millimeter. And then we're going to go down one millimeter, or you can go to a four and use for our connection pieces. And I think that is it. I think that covers everything. Okay, so let's get down to this. I'm gonna put my fan on for a little bit. I'm sorry if it's, uh, it's just so hot. I'm like sweating. And I noticed in my last video, I was like, my hands were sweating. So we're gonna try to not have that situation. All right, so let's put this aside. And basically what our pattern is going to be Yes, let's put all these jump rings aside for a second. We are going to do a link. And then we're just going to copy that link until we end up with these two at the end. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring you up a little bit. And then in between each link is going to be a jump ring. And then on each jump ring is going to be two of these little bicones. And then um, we are going to put our sun at one of the ends. And then we are going to attach when we get to the finished part, we're going to attach that. So it's kind of going to be like a double stranded design. So we've already done some of these links. So let's do a couple of these together. First, let's make two of these dangles together. Oh, tools you're going to need your cutters, you're going to need your round nose pliers, and you're going to need a set of um, chain nose pliers. I have my flat chain nose pliers, regular ones, and then I have my bent chain nose pliers. Um, and then, of course, when you get to this part, you are going to need um, your crimping pliers. You're going to need some crimps. We've put it on wire guardians, um, so you're going to need those as well. All right, so let's make two of our dangles. So basically, we just put on um, one of these bicones on our head pin. You can just bend this wire over if you if you so want to. Um, you know, I'm going to use my smaller ones with the smaller head because these are, you know, the bicones are crystal and they're fragile. So down down there at the base, 
And then we're just going to kind of bend over and then bite down on our pliers. When I say bite down, we're just kind of, kind of bite down. And then we're going to snippity doo da. We're going to snippity doo da. This piece here, I, I generally use my finger to measure. I know a lot of you guys do that, and it's a really smart way to measure. So I know when I get to my finger there, that's, a, that's about where I want that cut. And then I'm actually going to use my other, I'm going to use these uh, round nose pliers because they have a little bit of a thinner mandrel and this is a little bit of a thinner wire. So it just, it just makes more sense to me. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to put that in between the jaws of your mandrel. And then what I like to do is I just like to do a little flick of the wrist up and get it started and then I'll go ahead and then I'll finish it up. And I just do little, little movements, little movements, so you get that. Okay, and you can come in here with your pliers. I feel like my camera's at a different angle than it was earlier, and that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's a pretty good one, guys. You see that guy? Look at him. He's pretty. All right, we'll put that in a pile. We'll do one more together. I don't know why, but I feel like my camera's in a weirder angle. Like, I'm off to the side over here for some reason, and I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, maybe if I bring it down a little bit. But I noticed if I don't have it in this, um, this screen format, uh, my flash won't work, so then I don't get the extra lighting. Um, so that kind of stinks. But let me, maybe if I pull it down just a little bit more, it won't be such a weird angle. Maybe that's better. I can move over a little bit. All right, so we are going to, again, put our pliers at the base of the bead. You can do this with your finger if you want. I like to do it with the pliers. It gives me a little more precision. Bend down, and then just kind of bite down until you get that angle. Okay, then we're using our finger to measure. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sometimes it's not always 100% accurate, but... Excuse me, miss. Psst. That's Gemma. I don't know if you can hear, but the fan on my desk is on, and she's she's playing with the blades. So, putting that in there. Little flick of the wrist, and then we're going to go ahead, and we're going to finish it up. Bring it over here. You can bring in your other pliers, and kind of... This one's not as good as the last one, but that's okay. Just as long as it's closed, no one's going to know. All right, <clears throat> so now let's make some of these links together. So here you are going to need some eye pins, and sometimes when you get these eye pins, I feel like they're not always exactly centered, so sometimes I will go in and recenter. You can, of course, make your own eye pins, which is always great, but I've got these guys on hand, so all right. <clears throat> and the great part about this is we're putting jump rings in between so we do not have to hook these eye pins onto one another like you would if you were making links without jump rings and then what I like to do is I like to take this cut side and I like to uh, face that over this way because I don't like to have both the cut sides on the same side I kind of like to do a figure eight where you have one cut side here and then one, cut, one of the cut sides here. And I feel like that keeps that link stronger. Um, so, yeah. So, again, we are putting this at the base of the bead. Bending down and then just biting down on the pliers until you get that angle, that 90 degree bend. Then you know what time it is. snippity doo da time. <laughs> it's going to catch on. Sometimes I say snippity doo dah, sometimes it's clippity doo dah. So you, I'm keeping you on your toes. Again, measuring that with our finger. Taking. Making sure that there's never any metal poking up out of here because then it'll give you an egg shaped loop, which I get egg shaped loops enough on my own. <clears throat> and come in here, break that neck a little bit. And then just swing this and make sure that is closed. Yeah. That's a good looking loop. Okay. And then we'll do one more link together. So. 
Yeah, I am. Re I have really enjoyed this bargain bee box this month. This is probably the most that I've made on, on in a while from one. Not that I don't find them inspiring because I do, but I've been kind of on a like a jewelry slump lately, and so I really haven't been making as much. So there was a couple bargain bee boxes that I just didn't make anything. Not because I didn't like the beads, just because I just wasn't feeling jewelry at all. Sometimes we get like that, and we work through it. And I've worked through it and now I'm, you know, making a ton of sets with this. I'm becoming more comfortable filming things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's like all starting to work out a little bit. So that's great. Uh, I'm very, very happy. I am proud of myself that I'm, you know, stepping outside of my box, my comfort zone. That was a little too long. Um, yeah. So only, only good, only good things coming, uh, you know. From here on out, only great things coming. And I probably will uh, shoot a. Um, I probably will shoot a video for a bracelet for the Homestrung um, box, July box, guys. If you, I will leave all of the um, information for the Homestrung jewelry. If you guys want to catch some more of my uh, tutorials over there. Uh, also, um, Steve, Mr. Steve and Miss Debbie have tutorials and Miss Veronica has some really great tutorials over there. Um, so I will link all of the Homestrung um, fun in this video and uh, hopefully you come along on the journey with us over there. It's great. Uh, we have a great community. The beads are amazing. It's just, it's a whole lot of fun. All right. So here we are. We are all ready to start putting this together. <clears throat> I am going to use these jump rings that I used earlier. Guys, I am use these are 18 gauge jump rings that I'm using, um, so they're nice and sturdy. So if you have 18 gauge jump rings, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. But I probably wouldn't use anything um, any thinner than like a 21 gauge. Um, so most of your standard jump rings are usually 21 gauge, and they'll be fine. But if you can get a 20 or an 18 gauge, that'd be great. Um, just the sturdier the better, especially on bracelets because sometimes they get caught up on things and it's always good to have a really strong gauge jump ring. All right, so we are going to start basically putting our little magic together. So we are going to start with this guy. This is our pattern. Bring our other pliers in here. And now we are going to put on two... Put on... Yeah, we're putting on two of these drops. We're doing two drops per, per jump ring. Okay, and then we're going to attach one of these links. And we're gonna go ahead. My hands are really shaky today. You'd think I'd be used to this by now. Okay. I always kind of squeeze it in here and then feel it, make sure that that's, you know, that that's good. Now, the one thing we want to make sure is that we're always putting our jump rings on the same side. We want to keep our jump rings on the same, on the same path. Okay. So let's grab another jump ring. And then there goes one. It's all right. <laughs> now, remember, we're putting uh, the drops go on the bottom here. So we're keeping them on the same side. Our little droppy drops. Easier said than done. And then we're putting on a, where are we at here? Oh, I was out of sequence. We're putting this guy on, putting that guy on. Closing this up. Side to side. Oops, don't do that. And then we'll just give it a little, and that's good. Making sure our jump rings are still on the same side, and they are. Lay that down. Pick up our next jump ring. <clears throat> Making sure that we are on the same right side. We're gonna go ahead, thread on two more of these bicones. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat is just these allergies are a mess. And we're going to put on one of our links. I don't think it matters. I think they're the same on both sides. I think. I think. I think. Just 
Just making sure there is no daylight in there. We don't want anybody popping out and going on their own adventure without a proper chaperone. Not having it. When the beads go rogue. No, sir. We're not doing it. All right. Next jump ring. Next two dangles. And guys, you can do one dangle here. You can do as five dangles. You can do no dangles. It's completely up to you what you do. Um, I like the dangles. I think it adds an, a, a nice little bit of movement to the piece. And I'm all about movement. I love when jewelry has nice movement. Um, to me, that's just... I don't know. I just, I love it. I love when jewelry moves and it's free and, you know, it's fun. Okay, keeping those down there. Next jump ring. And we are, uh, we are getting there, friends. It's just a bunch of repetitive, you know, repetitive movements. Just making something really cool and organic. Which one were we off last? Okay. So we're doing a link. I think this is what we're doing. Oh, see, look at me. Busy talking and losing losing my focus. Come on, little guy. Come back out here. Thank you. Okay. All right. There we go. Crisis averted. Okay. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, we lost him. Friends, sometimes you just have to start over again. <laughs> sometimes you just have to put the jump ring down. And you just have to say, okay, hold on a second. Let's just take a breath, okay? Maybe we'll just open a new jump ring. How about we do that? <clears throat> so, what have you guys been working on on this box? Anything special? Oh, and can I just tell you, since we have a moment here, thank you so much for all of your love and all of your comments and your beautiful words. Um, you guys, really, when I tell you, you make me smile big. Like, I'm serious, friends. I'll, I'm cheesing. I'm a cheesing fool. You know what I'm saying? You guys really are the wind beneath my wings. I'm not just blowing Dixie. Honest to God. You all keep me keep me focused and, and make me realize that this is something that you guys enjoy, and I certainly enjoy it, so let's let's keep doing it, right? You guys give me wings and, and make it possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, for sure, always. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all of the love. And even if you've got, you know, whatever you want to share, please leave in the comments. I read all of the comments. Um, I enjoy reading the comments. I enjoy seeing your thoughts on things. I enjoy, you know, ideas that you guys have. Um, yeah, so always, please, feel free, you know, feel free to uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. So basically, really, just make sure you're, you're, you're checking and you're making sure all your little drops. You could, if you wanted, to be super duper fancy. You could make uh, four drops per each ring and do two on this side and two on that side. If you wanted to have a lot more movement, um, that would be fun. But I think we're just going to keep this the way it is for right now. Just for right now. We can always change our mind because I actually have an idea with the necklace. That I'm going to run past you guys when I'm done all this. Oh my goodness. Dude. Okay. And I believe we are the frosted guy. Because we are ending with the 8 millimeter. We're ending with that guy. And this gives you about a little bit over a 7 inch bracelet. If you want to make this smaller, uh, you certainly can. You can maybe get some, use smaller jump rings change up your pattern a little bit but um yeah super easy to make that smaller excuse me while i yell at my dog and we're back and she doesn't listen when i say yell that's subjective i don't really yell as you can tell because she's still barking so let's grab another jump ring we're gonna open this one up and guys see how good this seam is like i can't even there it is it's hard to find on these thicker jump rings that's a good sign that's a good sign okay. 
make sure. And I think I might have twisted that one up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, making sure that that is correct. And we've got two more sets of these spy cones to put on, and then we are going to be really having some fun. I had saw some people were sharing their videos over on the Bargain Bee Box um, group, and I had thought to do that, but because I'm trying to really grow my channel, <clears throat> but I don't know. I like I don't have the courage to do that. I don't know why. Like I just did. You see what I did? Because I'm busy talking. I didn't connect my second piece. Um, I don't. I just don't feel like I have the courage to do that because I, <laughs> because then I, I don't know. I, I lack a lot of self-confidence, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, it's just one of my... Just one of the things that makes me me, I guess. And guys, if you want to, like, you instead of using your fingers, if you want to do the two-plier method, that probably is a lot easier um, than just using your... Like, I got big old beefy fingers, so I probably should be using my tools more, but I don't know. I'm just talking and having a good time with my friends not really paying attention yeah. clearly <laughs> all right we're all still going the same way and now we are down to our last little um connection of this strand so we're gonna go ahead and thread our jump ring in there our last two little drops guys you can use drop you can continue along with the drops if you want um, but I'm, I'm not. Now here on this, I'm also going to attach our son. Am I going to attach our son here? Yeah. I'm also going to attach our son here. This, this jump ring is very important. You know what? We'll attach all that when we get to, I'm trying to remember if we get to the bracelet first. Okay. You know what? Let's do the bracelet. Let's not attach this yet. Or let's attach this. I forgot about this part. Oh wait, we still got one more bead. Just kidding. Just kidding. I do that. I do that. See this? I get to talking and like, okay, let's continue because we do have one more bead and I was jumping the gun trying to remember how I put this together because I feel like it was forever ago, even though it was Friday. All right. This is where we want to stop. Okay. So this is what we have. Uh, I did not bring my ruler. Let me grab my ruler. And so now you want to measure here. And you also want to take into consideration uh, with the size portion of this that you do have this toggle. So you want to make sure you are measuring this with that in mind. And I think this toggle is about, yeah, about a half an inch. About a little bit more than half an inch. And then you've got the jump ring, so not quite an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. So let's measure our bracelet. And so this is about six and a half inches. Um, so this bracelet will be about seven, well, I guess it'll be set about, I think it comes out to seven and a quarter because it has bigger beads on it. So that kind of makes up for some of the space, <clears throat> but we'll measure it at the end. Um, and like I said, if you need to make it smaller, you can maybe put smaller jump rings in the middle, um, or you can take out, maybe, maybe only do two of the glass and I mean, one of the glass instead of two, or maybe use some smaller beads in here, but we'll figure that out. So this is where you want to measure this piece. So whatever this length is, you want this to be slightly over. When I say slightly, it's, they're going to go on the same jump ring. They're almost identical, but if you go a little bit slightly over, it'll drape a little more, which is always fun. So that's okay if it's a little bit longer, because then it'll play nicely on your wrist. But you don't want it too much longer. Um, so go ahead and do that part. And then when you get done that part, you can come back, and then we'll do the rest. All right, so. All right, here we go. And now this is where the other jump rings come in handy. Like I said, I already put the two little smaller jump rings onto these guys. And I already put a smaller jump ring onto the sun. So now we are going to take the five millimeter jump rings. 
Or are we going to use six? You know what? Let's use the six millimeter jump rings. I think that's what I did. Just making sure they're all the right size. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to take one. Okay. And we're going to put this on there. And then we're going to string this guy on there. And then, because I want the, I want the uh, seed bead strand opposite of the dangles. Like, I don't want it underneath the dangles. I want it above the dangles. So this way, you know, you have the, the seed beads on one side and then the dangles on the other side. It's kind of like points of interest. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to put our sun on. Go ahead and put him facing out. Um, you can put the sun on wherever you want, but I just thought it would be cute down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to put the, the bar part of the toggle on. So this way that, you know, that's not fighting with that. And I don't think it really matters. I think it doesn't matter how you put this on. So there's a lot going on this jump ring here. So we're going to go ahead and close that one. Okay, that's a little jagged. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to bring it down here. See how cute that is? Right. I'm gonna lay this out nice so nothing is twisted. Everybody's getting along. Are we all getting along, friends? Oh no! Did I put it on the wrong side? No, I didn't. I was holding it. Okay. It can get confusing here. <laughs> Apparently, that's the back. Okay. I get it now. <laughs> do or do I? Did I twist it up? Are those? They are. Okay, that's correct. All right. Sometimes I'm not sure about myself. All right. So we are going to put now this one on. And then we're going to work our way up with this one. Oh, my goodness. Where? That's not even your split. Where is your split, my friend? Okay, I found it. Well, I just sorted that one. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to go from the bottom up. So, we are doing our bottom our bottom piece in here. And then we are putting this piece in here. Because we want them to be on the same side. And then we are attaching the jump ring that has our clasp. Now, you don't have to do this jump ring on your toggle. Because that does also add a little bit of space. You can put the toggle directly onto here. Um, but I always like a little extra movement around the toggle area, especially on a bracelet, because I find that that's easier um, to, you know, to help you put it on. Because sometimes toggle bracelets are difficult to put on. Okay. So there we go. There is, let me see if I can put this on my wrist. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try, friends. And if it gets a little twisted up, that's the thing with these bracelets are. They won't get a little twisted up. But it makes it fun, right? Okay, see how easy that was kind of easy to put on? You know, because of that little extra jump ring creates that space and that movement. Okay. Then you have your sun down here at the toggle. And then this, you know, just kind of pretty. And uh, lots of, let me see if I can hold you up a little more so you can get a better look. Lots of pretty movement. I like it. I like it. Right, let's take that off. I should have brought my measuring, my wrist measuring device. Let me grab that real quick. My wrist is about six and three quarters inches. So this is probably a little over seven, maybe. Oh my goodness. I just tripped, y'all. You didn't see that. Maybe about seven I recovered well. <laughs> Maybe about seven inches. Let's see about how long. First, let's make sure that this is not all gangled up here. Okay, straighten that out. Make yourself presentable. Mm, yeah, right there at about, this is about the seven, right about seven. So, if you want a seven inch bracelet, and you go ahead and you, you do that that way. If you want a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, then you go ahead and you can add and subtract. 
All right, so that was a lot of fun, right? Cute, cute bracelet. Now we're gonna work on the earrings because the earrings are magical. And in my opinion, my favorite part of this whole set. So there's our earrings. And then for our earrings, you are going to need two of these rondelles. You are gonna need two of the bicones. You are going to need two ear wires. Today we're just going with already made ear wires. Um, because I like these are uh, these are nice like um, hypo hypoallergenic uh, 925 silver type earrings. So ear wires. So they're uh, not going to be any problems with people that may have allergies. You're going to need two eye pins. You're going to need four of these wavy spacers. You're going to need two of the charms, and you're going to need enough, two of these suns or whatever charm that you're using to bring all this together. <clears throat> and so how we're going to start is. I like to kind of work from the bottom up. So we're going to start from the bottom up. Oh, this is, is this a link? Okay. I was like, wait, how is that a link? <laughs> uh, so we're going to take our eye pin and we're going to open it up, up and down, just like that. Never apart. I'm going to go ahead and put our charm on there and then close that back down. Make sure that's nice and closed. You can do a little pinchy pinch if you want. Nothing crazy. Don't smash it. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to put on our bicone. This is going to be our little go-between. Now remember, guys, this is the bicone, so he's a little fragile. So go ahead, and we're going to bring out the smaller pliers so as we don't crush his heart. <laughs> Again, you're going to go down here. You're going to make sure the loop is going in the same direction. Right. Bend and then just bite down until you have your 90 degree angle. And then we're going to cut. Make sure you give yourself a generous loop here. I don't know how generous that was, but because we are going to be connecting our sun charm here. Again. Right. Oh. We're just going to fix him just a little teeny tiny bit he did not quite be the come the loop I thought it was going to be right. and that's fine okay now we're going to go ahead and we're going to swing this guy open right. and then we're going to insert our Sun now we have to find on our Sun charm the centermost point so it's this one right here I believe and we're going to go ahead and then believe is that nope one over Put it in one over. Use your tools if you have to. Is that the right one now? Yes. That is our center most. So then we'll flip them over. And then we're going to close. We're going to close that jump ring. Uh, that. I'm going to close that eye pin up. Just bringing that down, just like you were. Make sure that it's closed, okay? So this is what you should have. Now we're going to make, oh, you know what? We needed four, we needed four eye pins. I was wondering why I had a whole bunch of eye pins. I do have more eye pins, here they are. I did not, so you need four eye pins for this project. Let's pick out a good eye pin. These are strangely like not centered. I don't know why. Gonna center him a little better. Okay. All right. So again, we're gonna swing this guy up, and now we're gonna attach it, attach it to the top of that sun, and we're gonna bring him back down. Make sure he's seated in there, nice, no gaps, no problems. And now we are going to take a wavy spacer. A rondelle and another wavy spacer and this is what you should have okay now our loop on the top here is gonna go uh, it's gonna go the opposite direction because of our ear wire the way our the orientation of our ear wire is so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our simple loop going this way and same thing basically just over the wire bite it down uh, come over here we're gonna measure that up Okay. Make your cut. 
and then bring your pliers in and just make that loop right just making it so it goes a little sideways that's okay and we can come in here and straighten her up right we can always fix her up and it does get a little tricky with these spacers here because they are a kind of loose on the bead so the bead is going to be a little loose but when when you're wearing them you're not going to notice because of gravity now if you wanted to get really really fancy you could take um some of these seed beads and make little loops with them and you could attach the little loops here if you want little if you wanted to bring those seed beads in you could make little seed bead loops here i kind of like this the way it is a little more on the simple side um, yeah, but you can certainly do that. I had thought about doing that, but I think I'm just going to keep them this way. And then you're going to open up your ear wire and you're going to attach your little friend here going the, going the correct way, right? And then you're going to go ahead and close your ear wire, right? Make sure that's all closed. And there you go. There are your beautiful, sunny, little sunny goddess earrings. Guys, so what I was going to say earlier with this bracelet is if you wanted to take the necklace and I still might do this I'm not 100% sure but if you say you want to take the necklace and maybe uh, do a full strand maybe a, a 17 or 18 inch piece of this here and just kind of drape it uh, make like a second necklace for it and it's like drape it in there you know so it would be like two necklaces and then you would just Attach it up, up at the uh, up at the clasp, and then you could have kind of a two a two strand look. If you want it, that's just an idea. Um, if you want to really kind of jazz it up a little bit more, but I think it's kind of perfect the way it is. So yeah, so there is your bracelet, and your necklace, and your god sun goddess earrings, guys. I hope, I hope, I hope so much that you enjoyed this. I hope that I taught you something or I hope, I hope that I just kept you company, you know, while you were beating and, um, you know, and I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me and I am going to start working on Andrea's box soon. So hopefully I'll have some pretty cool designs with that. Um, I am going to work on a Homestrong video. Sorry. I'm going to work on a Homestrong video next. Um, so like I said, I will, I will put all of the Homestrong info in the, um, description box if you guys want to join me over there and yeah and i also have ipsy coming up one day this week i'm not sure which day but we will be opening ipsy so guys thank you so much for joining me and uh, i will talk to you all soon okay have a wonderful wonderful beginning of your week into the rest of your week and if you guys aren't doing something magical for yourselves then you you probably should start okay so have a great week everybody bye